guys, I miss you guys so much. Welcome back to my channel. Simply shine, simply shine. You're watching her on YouTube, and you know she got a vibe for me. She got a vibe. Okay, so before I forget, I do want to do a post notification shout out. As promised, I'm going to be giving shout outs at the beginning of the video. Make sure that you comment. The more I see your comment, the more you get a shout out. So today's shout out goes to Marcy Ashby. Thank you so much for your love and for being consistent in the comment section. You are the real MVP. I have not picked up the camera in literally six days. A lot's been going on with your girl. It be like that sometimes. Before I could even make my intro, I had to manifest. I had to journal. I had to get back into my daily routine your girl fell off your girl has been in the bed okay i was sick i wind up catching a cold for like three four days i feel like that was god telling me to sit down i've been doing so many things and i just don't slow down and i guess it caught up to me but before i wind up getting sick i just was dealing with a lot i felt like i was in a funk and i couldn't get out of it which is something that i deal with from time to time you know what i mean sometimes i have this moment where i'm just overwhelmed with my thoughts i just feel so unmotivated i tend to close up and I just don't want to be bothered with anything until I feel like I can. I went from being in a funk to then winding up getting sick. Thankfully it wasn't the C word y'all. I'm all good. It was just like a regular cold due to the weather change or whatever. So I feel better with that but I just wasn't doing anything for like the last couple of days. I've literally just been in the bed eating and ordering stuff. I mean I really couldn't do much. I felt like hell why not be productive and shop. You know what I mean? If I can't go out I'm going to have it come to me. It's a day in a life. Going to basically be getting our lives together. I feel like I fell off track with a lot of things because I was in a funk. I realized from myself, whenever I'm feeling down and out, that there's no time limit for me to feel better. Of course, I don't want to stay like that for months and months and months. I just know that every day is not going to be perfect for me. I need to be patient with myself and know that I can't figure everything out in one day. That's not the way life works. God is always listening. God knows what I need and God's always going to provide, but on his time. Those are the things that I'm trying to say to myself and practice and embed into my brain because when I get overwhelmed, I tend to lose sight of all of the all of my spiritual belief and that just tends to go out the window and I'm just like chill girl you got this like you got this look at where you started look at where you are so it's just been a lot of things just things in my personal life you know life is life things are always gonna pop up and it's just it's up to us to learn how to mow through those things without letting it actually make us sick you know what I mean make us sick and make us go down that dark path because child depression is real your mental health is your number one priority at the end of the day and if my mental health is not where it needs to be I'm gonna take a couple of seats back until I get it right. When I stop journaling and manifesting and speaking those positive things into myself, that's when I started to falter a little bit. And it's okay because I did it today and I'm feeling so much better. Physically, I feel much better. <clears throat> I do still have a little coughy cough, but ain't nothing that I can't deal with. Miss you guys so much though. So happy to be talking to the camera, talking to you guys again. It felt weird. I know you guys can understand and relate to those bad days that make you feel like, you know what? I'm not doing nothing today. I don't have too much to do in this vlog, but I was like, I need to talk to my peoples. I miss you guys so much. First things first is I'm going to hop in the shower because I have been sweating. And I guess that's a good thing because I sweat my cold out. So we're going to wash that ass, okay? Because it's a little tart. Before I got sick, I had went to Ulta. I picked up some new body scrubs, some body butters. And then I actually ordered this new body wash that I've been seeing all over like TikTok. So you know I had to jump on a bandwagon. I ordered this tool for off of Amazon for my skin because you guys know I've been telling you how my skin has been really playing itself lately. And I really think that it has to do with my hormones. I've been working on the skin so I feel like it's definitely cleared up from last time. We're gonna do a little skincare, we're gonna do shower. I'm waiting for two packages to come in the mail. One from Shein and also your girl spent the bag. Mm, I hate to say it but I definitely spent the bag on these sneakers but I really wanted them. It's okay to be selfish and splurge on me. I track it. It said that my packages should have been here yesterday, but the way my post office is set up, I might have to pull up over there because for some reason they're constantly getting new carriers and they mess up the orders. Mind you, my order's probably right in the back and it ain't scanning yet. Once my package comes, then I'll be able to show you guys my outfit because I did get an outfit, which means I'm going to take a picture. I have not been active on my Instagram in so long and I feel so bad because I have a good amount of people over there. But if y'all not follow me on Instagram, do so because I'm going to post a fire picture and you guys will be able to keep up with me over there when I'm not over here. I could do a little cleaning. I did change my sheets because whenever I'm sick, baby, 
we gotta get the germs out of here. Windows was up, Lysol was sprayed because I just didn't want to spread the germs to the kids. Okay? I don't want my babies to get sick. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Love you guys so much. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me let me wash this ass. difference a shower can make i was doing bad y'all if you wanna be somebody if you wanna go somewhere then you better wake up and pay attention so now we're gonna do a little bit of skincare i am so excited to show you guys and put you guys on to this skincare system if you are having any type of skin issues i highly recommend it it's pricey but it works Okay, I believe in investing in yourself and things that you know are gonna give you longevity. Sometimes you just gotta spend a little more just to get that quality. It's a natural dermal cell energy amplification system. It comes with five different glass little tools in here. I don't really know everything about it. It's not sponsored, so if y'all wanna know, y'all gonna do your research. I got it mainly because of what I read and the results that I seen from other people that had like hyperpigmentation dark marks. I was dealing with a lot of hormonal acne and no matter what I used, my skin was just breaking out. It would clear up, then another one would appear and it was like underneath my skin. Don't want to alarm you. It, it does look a little, this is what it looks like. If you know, you know. It has five different glass tools in it. You can use it for your hair. You can use it for fine lines, wrinkles. Literally use this three times. And in those three times, I noticed such a change in my skin. This one is the one I've been using. Honestly, I went back to my regular wash. I've been using this one. My skin always reacts really well to it. I wash my face with this. And then we're gonna do this. I'm talking too much. I'm just happy to be here. Ooh, la, 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 la. Can I have five? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Show me your muscles. Show me your muscles. <laughs> it's a package. It's for mommy. I got something. Sashin kids. Let me see. So I got this for Juju. Isn't it cute? Because the boy's growing like you wouldn't believe. Like buy him something and then literally three weeks he like outgrew it. So I'm like, let me just get him some some affordable stuff from Shein because he's growing. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on stuff and he grows right out of it. Oh, this is so cute. I forgot I got this too. Isn't this so cute too? It's another hoodie I got for him. Did you like your hoodie? You like your hoodie I got you? <laughs> you don't like it? Bye. Tell me this is not adorable. Look at the back of it. Why are you pulling my braid why is you pull why is you disrespecting <laughs> super elegant but i like the detailing it because look at the back little zipper whatever this isn't an extra small so i waited 21 days for this it's giving too much length right my legs are not this long y'all you guys do not understand how excited i am to open this box if you know this box then you know if you don't you're gonna know <laughs> oh my god I'm so boosted right now. Shall I look at them real quick? Take a look at them. Hey, baby, baby. Okay. These are Rick Owens Dark Shadow sneakers. I know y'all gonna wanna know how much I really spent on these. I've always wanted these. I seen these, I think, last, last year. And it was like a goal of mine. I was like, you know what? I really want these, but they are a little pricey. I'm gonna manifest these sneakers. Like, whatever I want, I'm just gonna work hard for it. And I'm gonna, when I get into a comfortable place in my life, I'm gonna treat myself and buy these because everybody deserves to have whatever it is that they want, whether it's designer or it's just no non-brand. If you want something, you have a desire for it, it should be yours, especially if you work for it. So 
I finally got my hands on these. My favorite, favorite celebrity crush who I love, Ruby Rose. I love her. I think she's the first person I saw with these and Neek. I was like, what are these? Like, I need the deets, please. I did my research and I was like, they look like Chuck Taylors, but I didn't really know what size to get because they're in European and European is different from obviously the United States. I have two other pair of designer sneakers that are in, they're in a size six and a half, I think, but I think it's 36. I think it's 36 in UK. 36.5 or something like that, whatever. So I was, I, I procrastinated, I've been procrastinating because I was like, yo, if I buy these and they don't fit, I'm gonna be salty. So long story short, I had these in the cart for the longest and I was just like, should I get them? Should I, I don't know. I felt guilty, I shouldn't get them because you know, I'm taking away from the kids and something was just like, just do it. And I'm like the type of person, like I have to do it like now or never or I'm just gonna back out. And I just hit confirm payment. These came to with tax about $790, seven hundred and like ninety dollars seven seven ninety one so almost eight hundred dollars which to me is like a thousand dollars but I love me and I have to learn to spoil me I'm not looking to get it from anybody else I want to be able to provide if I have expensive taste as long as I can pay for it and take care of my priorities and my kids are straight I don't see what the problem is so we about to try them on okay I'm gonna stop talking to y'all because we're gonna try these on right now like we gonna put the whole outfit together, but I gotta try these on right now. I love them. Literally been procrastinating. Like the last thing y'all saw from me was, I think my skincare or whatever. Tell me how I woke up with a pimple right here. After I was bragging and boasting about my skin, I said, the devil is a, he's a lie. He is a lie. So um, right now I'm gonna get dressed really quick. Debating if I wanna do my nails or not, I definitely think I need a fill in. I've really been loving like the natural look only because it goes with everything, but um, I was looking on Pinterest at some ideas. I don't know which ones. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know where my phone is. Something for Halloween, but then again, it's just like, I don't want anything too crazy. See if I can get a fill in really quick. Then I wanna go to Barnes and Nobles. I forgot. I've been trying to um, get into more reading. Two books that somebody told me to check out, um, and I'm hoping that they do have them. So we're gonna do the nails. We're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. We're gonna come back and dress. We're gonna take some IG pictures. It's freezing outside right now. Like literally, we love that. it's so cold. I don't even think I can take a picture outside. So I'm gonna try to wing it in my house and like take a picture inside because I'm taking a picture one way or another. So y'all gonna see me do that. And then after that, I'm supposed to meet up with my mom because I've been craving, craving, craving seafood. We have literally been talking about doing like a seafood dinner, not a seafood boil, but just like some type of seafood. So my mom's gonna come over later after she does what she does and we're gonna try to get some fish. I've been craving clams, stuffed clams. Y'all like stuffed clams? Scallops. We may attempt to make some lobster macaroni and cheese because I've been dying to try lobster macaroni and cheese. I've never, I've never tried macaroni, lobster macaroni and cheese and my mom's macaroni and cheese is the best. So <laughs> let's see if we can find some lobster tails and we're gonna probably do that. Or if we don't do that in this vlog, stay tuned because I know you guys love when my mom is here. We about to get How some seafood. I love y'all. I've been craving fish, so I was like, Mom, can we have fish today? And fish is on the menu. Can we get some scallops? What's your favorite fish? I like whiting's bass and flounder. Woo! That's my that. Uh, you're supposed to be making the cornbread. <laughs> Where the cornbread at? In the stuff? Mom, you know what I gotta taste for? Collard greens. Baby, I'll make you whatever you want. No, for real, we haven't had college. Oh, well, right, Thanksgiving is you. right around the corner. Yeah, let's not do that before. You know I throw down for your birthday. You, it's your birthday, too? Oh, my God, look at the shrimp. Y'all, look at the shrimp. Look at the fish, y'all. Look at the fish. Dinner is served, y'all. Mmm. This is blessing. I'm about to buy this. Y'all, I woke up with a horse voice. 
I'm trying to get dressed and get ready for this Instagram picture. All I'm gonna say is won't he do it. Maybe like two months ago I did a vlog and I was letting you guys know that I was super upset because I wasn't eligible to get my 100K plaque. On YouTube when you hit a certain amount of subscribers, 100,000, 500,000, a million, and so on and so forth, I was ineligible and I don't know why I was ineligible because they didn't really tell me. I was freaking out, I was bummed, I was unmotivated, I was discouraged. A lot comes with being a content creator, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of editing, it's a lot of time, brainstorming, it takes a lot of time to create videos. So. I just felt like my hard work was going unnoticed. Long story short, I gave it to God and I just left it there. God pushed me. God continuously pushed me. I, I, I prayed. I left it there. And yesterday, I was literally editing this video. I got an email and I was like, oh my God, it says YouTube. I was so afraid to open it because I was just like, oh my God, they're going to tell me no, I'm ineligible again. Let me tell you something. I am a firm believer I've never given up because I opened that email up and it said, congrats, you are eligible for your 100K plaque. And I was up in here praising. It was like 11 o'clock. And I was shouting. I put my gospel on, woke my kids up. They were so scared. They thought something was wrong with me. I say all that to say, never give up. No matter what. Even if things don't seem like they're going to get better for you, do not give up. Keep pushing. That's my testimony. I feel like that weight has been lifted because it was something that was really bothering me. It really made me question my craft. You know, if this... If YouTube was actually something that I should continue to pursue. So now we're here. I've been up getting myself together so we can take these IG pictures. I started half of my hair. Please don't mind the mess in the background. Whenever I'm trying to take a photo or get ready for anything, my room turns into a whole big style. I don't know if I'm the only one. Clothes be everywhere, but if you know, you know. This is my little outfit, my little cat suit or whatever. I think it's super cute. I don't know. I ain't had no thongs, so I don't know drawers on. Don't judge me, y'all. I was thinking I should put lashes on for this. Let me show y'all what I just bought. I actually just bought this by the brand Lancome. It's a primer, so basically you put it on your, you apply it on your eyelashes before you put your mascara on, and it's supposed to give you length. And I'm all for the length. They're like, give me the length, baby. If the lashes don't work, we got a plan B. I forgot to show you guys my nails. These are my nails. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It took me a few days to get it together with like this video i feel like this is the longest time it's taken me to create like a vlog i feel like i had something blocking me a lot of negativity on me i just feel like i was going through so much at one time it was one thing after another that i was just trying to come in and just affect my mental health the thing about me is i'm always trying to fix everything and i'm always trying to be there for everybody else and i'm always just trying to make sure everything is everything but i don't realize that i'm burning myself out in the process sometimes we don't realize how much pressure we put on ourselves i'm trying to talk to y'all and do this but i cannot multitask with makeup and and doing it so hold on y'all let me one thing about me baby i'll get dialed up and please know these will come right off after the picture snap snap rip rip i was able to get the lash on i think i did a pretty good job I don't know, I just feel like I'm double blinking. Right now, I'm just doing a wand curl. I decided to go with the half up, half down look. I just feel like it goes perfect with the, like, the bodysuit. If you ever want to do wand curls, get this brand right here. It just feels good to do this today because, like I said, for the last couple of days, I was just like in a funk. You don't realize how much better you feel when you get dressed, when you do your hair, when you put on a cute outfit. If y'all would have saw me a few days ago, y'all would have been like, yeah, Michelle, you got to get it together. Like, I was really in my thoughts and I'm learning that I have to continuously show up for myself even when I don't feel like I can. When you're down and out and there's nobody else there for you, at the end of the day, you have yourself. I'm learning to continuously show up for myself, making sure to love on myself, making sure that I don't forget about myself, like making sure that I don't lose sight of who I am because I have responsibilities and because I have so much on my plate. I just have to learn how to balance, if anything. I feel like for me, it's just finding balance within myself because... I, I cram too many things on my plate at one time, you know what I mean? I'm always trying to do so much in one day. I feel like that's where most of my stress comes from. Trying to do and trying to fix everything for everyone within a day. And it just doesn't work like that because I'm literally burnt out. You know what I mean? So I'm learning to take breaks when I need to take breaks and listen to my body. Even if I don't see that I need to take breaks, eventually your body's going to let you know that it's doing too much. Your body's going to start to show you that you're doing too much. It's going to start breaking down and... That's my biggest fear because as a mother, I always want to make sure that I'm there for my children. And how can I be there for my, how can I possibly be here for my children if I'm killing myself in the process? Continuously pouring love back into myself because whether you've been in a, a rocky relationship or something that has taken a lot of energy out of you, sometimes we lose our value. We don't realize how important we are, hence why we settle for certain things that we shouldn't settle for because... We haven't loved ourselves properly internally. So I'm gradually learning certain things about myself that make me feel good. And recognizing and removing certain things goes for people too that serve me no purpose.
because not everybody's meant to go on this journey with you. Sometimes God puts people in your life just for a season, just to teach you certain things. And then that's it because those people are not meant to grow with you. I literally want to be the best version of myself that I can possibly be. To me, stress is inevitable. Like people are always like, you know what? You got to just take things with a grain of salt. Sometimes I'm faced with situations in my life that are not a walk in a park and it's not easy for me to just be like, oh yeah, just forget about it. Life be hard, you know what I mean? Life, sometimes life can deal you some messed up cards. I just need balance. Just doing this right now, having time to myself, is making me feel good, you know what I mean? Even though I'm not going nowhere, your girl's looking like a whole snack. I would love to be going out on a date somewhere, but I'm learning to love me. Like the self growth journey is preparing me for what's ahead. The more I work on myself, the more I speak life into myself, nothing but good is gonna keep coming my way. God's gonna put good people in my way. God removes those people because he wants you to get right with yourself. Sometimes he isolates us intentionally so that we can realize certain things that we didn't see when those people are around us. Sometimes we're distracted by negative energy, negative people, and we can't think because we have so much negativity around us. But once you remove those negative things, you start to see your life feels a little lighter. You know, you're not so stressed. You can you can breathe a little better. You don't feel so tense. I had to let go of a lot of people. And I also had to let go of a lot of bad habits. We all are a work in progress. We all have certain things that we need to, you know, change. But that comes with time. That comes with time. And if you really want to do something, no matter what it is in your life, this damn thing ain't even on. If you really want to change or you really want to change your situation, you're going to do it. Moral of the story is make time for yourself and fix what needs to get fixed. Make sure you put yourself before anybody else because you can't expect to be your best self for anybody. Relationship, parenting, anything, if you're not good mentally. So we all gonna go through something. You know, not every day is gonna be a walk in the park. Hell, I wish it was, but that's not the reality of it. But yes, I'm feeling myself as I should, okay? Because I haven't felt this pretty in a while. I'm trying to be creative because it's too cold to take a picture outside. Now I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna take this damn picture. Right? I'm gonna take it like on a white wall but I have a lot of stuff on each wall. I was thinking I could sit on the table. Yeah, I have no idea what goes on behind the scenes. Like, it'd be hectic. That's why I sold up with my Instagram pictures because I was like, this is just too much. We're probably gonna do it over there, but I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna set up. What I use when I take my pictures is like a little stand. Then I put my camera there. Then I, look, I have a little timer, clicker, wherever that may be right now. We set it for 10 seconds and we let it just click, click, click. Okay, we just gonna click, click, click till I get it right. As women, we're never satisfied. Yeah, I know how it goes. And get me underway. taking my ig pictures like two hours later y'all only got like a little sneak peek of it i'm gonna end this vlog out right here because the way my throat is set up what can i do to get rid of this hoarseness i've had strep throat in my life before but i've never like lost my voice due to yelling like this my throat doesn't hurt but it just sounds crazy it sounds like i'm in pain so comment down below a remedy to get your girl back on track because i got the talk y'all yeah. hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe turn your post notifications on so you never miss when i upload a video i know sometimes youtube be playing and y'all don't get the notification but just check on your girl I usually like to post a video every two days so that way you have an idea of when to come come pull up on your girl but with that being said i have one more request i need y'all to bring it in so come on just a little bit more a little bit more don't forget to shop satin by show get you a bonnet get you a do-rag the link will be down in the description below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Simply show, simply shine.